friend. If you was walking, run. If you was running, fly. If you was flying, disappear. Because, baby, that's how fast you got to move to get to these oven baker lemon pepper chicken. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean our chicken. Yes, we clean our chicken over here. I don't care if you think cleaning your chicken is bad, baby. That's your business. That ain't got nothing to do with me. And plus, this is my food. You ain't even invited to the dinner table. So when you're making yours, don't clean yours, okay? But we're going to clean ours every time. And so I just went ahead and I took my knife and I cut off that yellow part because, baby, I don't want that business, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove all this excess fat that's on the chicken because we don't need them extra calories. Then we're going to go ahead we're going to flip it over and we're going to go ahead we're gonna take that piece off okay we're gonna take that off using our knife just like that then after that we're gonna go ahead we're gonna check the chicken to see if there's any feathers that needs to be removed because i don't want to do all that when i'm trying to eat my chicken because there's feathers in my chicken all right then after that i'm just gonna go ahead i'm gonna skim through it make sure it look good it's nice then i'm gonna take a chicken thigh and i'm gonna clean my chicken thigh you see all that excess skin we don't need all that so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna circumcise it just like your mama should circumcise do <laughs> No, I'm just playing. Y'all ain't nothing wrong with a little bit extra skin as long as you know how to properly wash it, okay? Then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take some lime and I'm going to put some vinegar. I'm going to put some um sour orange juice and I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to clean my chicken. This is just to sanitize your chicken so your chicken don't have that outside smell. It don't smell stank. It don't smell like the 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 outside, okay? It don't smell like um uncircumcised things that don't know how to be washed, <laughs> that don't know how to clean. All right, then after that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just wash it properly like this. Rinse it through. Um, Make sure I rinse every one of them through the water. All right, then they're going to look a little bit something like this. I'm going to use a paper towel to pat it dry. Once the chicken is patted dry, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some extra virgin olive oil on there. And the reason I put the extra virgin olive oil is so that it can help the seasoning stick onto the chicken, okay? And the reason why I pat it dry is because we don't need that extra moisture on the chicken. So then I went ahead and I put one tablespoon of garlic powder and I'm putting one tablespoon of onion powder one tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning, one tablespoon of Maggie chicken flavor bouillon, okay? I'm going to put all that in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and put one tablespoon of paprika. And remember, paprika is a non-salt based seasoning. So is garlic powder and onion powder. The only thing you're putting on there for flavor is the lemon pepper seasoning and the Maggie chicken flavored bouillon. That's it. The reason we're putting the paprika on there is just so we could give it a little bit of color. Paprika does not have any spice in it. It's really just for color. But, but... If you disagree and you feel like paprika do have a spice to it and it's spicy, don't add it. It's so simple, okay? Don't add it to yours. It's still going to taste good. It's still going to come out great. The only difference is it's not going to look like mine because it's not going to have that color, okay? So that's okay. Do what you want to do. After I uh, made sure all of my chicken got some of that seasoning on that side, we're going to go ahead. We're going to flip it over and we're going to season the other side the same way we did the, the, the first side. OK, you want to season both sides of your meat because you eat both sides. Right. When you put the meat in your mouth, you put the whole thing in your mouth. Right. No. Mm, that's why you still sing. <laughs> so we're going to put some chicken flavor bouillon, one tablespoon of chicken flavor bouillon, one tablespoon of Maggie, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder. OK, we're going to make sure we mix that in there very well to make sure every piece of that chicken got some of that seasoning, baby. No piece of chicken left behind. OK, so we're going to make sure we maneuver it everywhere. OK, we're going to make sure we get it in there. And it's well satisfied, okay? 
unlike you that can't satisfy your girl to save your life or think you be doing something <laughs> she cheating friend once we're business. done doing that and the chicken is well marinated you could go ahead and you could let it sit for an hour or 30 minutes or overnight if possible because baby this is not a perfect world sometimes people got things to do and places to go and we don't got time for that if you ain't got the time that's okay because it's still gonna turn out good so after the chicken is well marinated and you leave it or you don't whatever you're gonna go ahead you're gonna cover it and you're going to put it in the oven in the middle rack at 400 degrees for 45 minutes okay when it's five minutes till the 45 minutes time mark you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna start working on your lemon pepper seasoning mixture okay so you're gonna take two lemons and you're going to zest them okay you're going to zest the lemon which is get the peels from them like this okay then you're gonna go ahead you're gonna put a pot on the stove at medium high heat six seven you're gonna put one stick of butter and you're going to squeeze one lemon okay and i'm using the strainer so that none of the seeds get in there because baby if you ever ate a seed by mistake a lemon seed it's so sour it tastes it's like, oh. I can't even explain it. Just don't do it, okay? Then after that, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the lemon zest in there. And I'm going to put one tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning. I'm going to let that simmer a little bit. Then I'm going to take my chicken out of the oven, okay? This is the chicken. And baby, look how it looks. Oh, my God. That thing looking good already. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all that juice that the chicken made. And we're going to put it into another bowl. Then we're going to take one cup of that chicken juice and we're going to put it in our lemon pepper butter mixture that we just made, okay? We're just going to mix it all together and let everything combine and become one as a unit. Ooh, child, like you wish your baby daddy did with you, but he ain't never going to marry Girl, you. you knew that man had a wife before he had that baby, child. Ch let me mind my business, y'all. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take that and I'm going to pour it over the chicken Oh my goodness, you're just going to pour it all over like that. You're going to see the lemon zest start dropping on the chicken. This is going to make your chicken taste so good, so lemon peppery and buttery and whew, yes, okay? It's going to take you somewhere where where um that man that never satisfied you took you, okay? <laughs> then we're going to go ahead. We're going to take the um paprika and we're going to sprinkle a little bit more on there just so we could get that beautiful color that we're looking for. Just a little razzle dazzle. Then we're going to put it in the oven on the middle, um in the top rack at 400 degrees still for 30 minutes. 15 minutes uh, right here, 15 minute mark. We're going to go ahead. We're going to open the oven and we're going to take the chicken and we're going to baste it okay this is just so your chicken can remain juicy okay and your chicken don't don't don't, don't be dry okay your chicken could be very very juicy okay just like you be getting juicy for that man that ain't your boyfriend that you don't have no business messing with okay all right just like that you're gonna baste the chicken just so it can stay nice and moist and then you're going to put it back in the oven or leave it in the oven for the extra 15 minutes. And baby, when it come out the oven, it's going to look a little something like this. Look at that chicken, baby. Oh, my goodness. That chicken looks so good. And we're still going to go ahead and we're going to take our baser and we're still going to baste the chicken a little bit more just because we want it to be very, very juicy. The juicier, the better. Baby, this chicken looks so good. Let's go ahead and... And give these baked lemon pepper chicken a moment of silence for the beauty that they hold. Yes, friend. Yes. Look at that chicken. Man, this chicken right here is what will have that man peeking out the window once you tell him it's over. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. You won't never want a man to be that crazy about you. Trust me. It's kind of scary. But, friend, it will be going on 10 years since y'all broke up. And he's still going to be thinking about that one time you made him them oven baked lemon pepper chicken and how he should never cheat it because he lost something good, friend. <laughs> that chicken will do it to you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And friend, you better, you better run, walk, and fly to go ahead and make these lemon pepper chicken. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Bye. Until next time.